Rock the Night, The Final Countdown, and of course, Carrie. Just a few of the reasons why Europe were one of the biggest bands of the late 80s. And it's a pleasure to be hanging with the band's lead singer, Joey Tempest, during this hour of Metal Mania. Joey, great to see you. Thanks great for coming see. by. Thank you very great much. Great to have Europe back in America once again. VH1 Classic has great news for Europe fans who have been paying for expensive import copies of the band's first new studio album in nearly 14 years. Start from the Dark, which was produced by Kevin Elson, the same guy who worked with the band on their classic Final Countdown album. It'll finally be released here on June 7th. So, Joey, fans have been really looking forward to a Europe reunion for a long time. We mentioned the new album's the first one in 14 years. It's been a while since you've been in America touring. Tell us how this all came about and how Europe got back together, because I know the fans are so thrilled to have you back. Well, thank you. Um, well, we kept in contact over those years when we had a break. We call each other. We sort of sent solo albums to each other, hinting that, you know, come on, come on, let's do it. Right. So we did solo albums, but we did do one gig, and that was Millennium Me, just before midnight. We got to perform bef before half a million people, the final countdown on the Millennium Me in Stockholm. And we couldn't say no to this. We went home and we did it, but it was that rehearsal, and it was just magical. It was like, we have to do this soon. So we just finished some solo things, and then here we are. We wanted to get back on the road with a new album. Now, there's been a few lineups of Europe, but this lineup that's back together is the one that recorded the classic Final Countdown album. How important was that for you that you had John Norum back in? Because I know you and John basically started the band as kids. Yeah, we met when we were 14 or 15. Uh, he came from one band, I came from the other. We put it together, and we were called Force, and then we started dreaming bigger. We wanted to tour like Lizzie. We wanted to we listen to Deep Purple. Albums. So we, we go back since teenage years. Actually, all members we met when we were teenagers. So it means a lot for us to be together again, touring together. Um, good friends, you know. It was. It's fun. it's amazing. I got to see the band last night, and it is amazing to hear John Norum play guitar. Yeah, yeah. He is something else, and it's he's just... one of my favorites in that genre. He is my favorite. So I, yeah. it's just a pleasure. And we mentioned too that Europe is is synonymous with not only the Final Countdown album, which is a classic, but also the song itself which people hear constantly this day, and they may not even know it's Europe because they hear it in every sporting event and everywhere. Can you imagine, can you even, when you wrote that song, did you have any idea what that opening riff was going to become? No, it's been a wild journey. I was in college. I borrowed a keyboard from, because there was this new thing, keyboards. Because we had a rock band, and when John did the solos, it was kind of empty, so we, I wanted to fill it with something. So I borrowed a keyboard, and maybe we can use this. And I just tried to sound... And I just kept it in my head for many, many years. And uh, when we recorded the third Europe album, I, I dug it out, and I got some rhythm ideas. Uh, you know, we had we were inspired by bands like UFO and Lizzie, so the tempo could come from the you know the, 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 an old UFO song. Yeah, just great put, stuff. Yeah. Just put stuff together, and Final Countdown was written for the fans. It was written for the opening the show. It was over six minutes long. We didn't know it was going to be a pop hit or anything like that. It was meant for the show, but it's so special. When we play it, we just communicate with the fans. It's just fantastic. And in a way, it became the catalyst for your reunion because it was obviously yeah. Millennium yeah, yeah. Eve and the Final Countdown, exactly. and that's yeah. what uh, essentially. Yeah the band together more than 10 years later again. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Joey Tempest of Europe is hanging with me, and we'll continue more with Joey coming up this hour. Right now, more classic metal music videos. I'm continuing to hang with the guy behind such classics as The Final Countdown, Carrie, and Rock the Night, to name a very, very few. And a guy that spent a lot of time on music television through the late 80s, Joey Tempest of Europe, is back, and it's great to have him here. Thanks, Joey. Uh, it's good being here. Thank you. It's been nearly 14 years, but those lucky fans who have already had the chance to hear it are saying it's been well worth the wait. I'm talking about Europe's new studio album, Start From The Dark, which arrives in stores on June 7th. Joey, the new album, as we said, has been out for a little while internationally, finally coming out here in America. I've had the chance to hear it already, like a lot of hardcore Europe fans. And one of the things that I find really cool about it is that it has elements of a little bit more of a modern style but without alienating anything of what Europe was all about with the longtime fans. Was that what you set out to do with the album? What was the approach after 14 years making a new album? 
Yeah, we had a meeting in 2003 where we sat down, we're doing this, let's do it. And uh, what do we do with the music? Well, let's just start from scratch. John, what kind of riffs do you have? He sent me a couple of riffs and we, the first few songs we wrote was Gotta Have Faith and Start From The Dark. And that gave us a platform. It was a bit more of a modern sound, like you say, it was a bit detuned. We made sure the production was a bit drier. As you know, in the 80s, the producers liked to sort of, it was uh, juiced up a bit, you know, it was yeah. big. Uh, so we wanted to keep it uh, pure and, and raw. That was the approach. but. The few songs that link us to the past, they are there. I mean, we've got Hero, we've got a few songs that are more like that. And that's good. We can't get away from that. So we wanted to keep that, but at the same time, feel a fresh, you know, have a fresh start. And you obviously have a connection with Kevin Elson, who produced the record, because, I mean, for those that don't know, in addition to producing the final countdown, Kevin produced some classic albums for bands like Journey yeah. and so many, so many great records. So it's interesting that you wanted uh, to incorporate new elements of the sound, but you still went with the guy who created your landmark yeah. record because because Kevin is good with live bands he doesn't put his stamp on it too much he works with the band he's in the rehearsal he's in the studio and he was a good choice because he was a good friend of ours as well you know and um, he I talked to him on the phone I said we don't want to do sort of an 80s album we want to sort of do what we're about now and uh, he was cool with that mm -hmm. so he came over to cold Sweden he came from California <laughs> had hats on coast I have to be here you know? no he was cool and uh, it worked out fine yeah. for me as a, as a fan of the band I always think that one of the people are really selling themselves short if they don't don't go see Europe play live because the band just comes together so much live and doesn't matter if you're playing a, a smaller stage like you were last night or one of these big arenas or the Millennium in front of a half a yeah, million people yeah. or something yeah, like that. Yeah, well, I mean there's this energy and I think is that really what it's about for you and the band to really be on stage because I've heard a lot of artists say to me they make records just so that they can tour. Is that how you feel or, or do you love both equally the studio and live? We do love both but we grew up on, on listening to live albums such as uh, Made in Japan with the Purple or uh, uh, Lizzy live albums and our first object was to play live so it's still like that we want to be working band we want to tour albums yes it's great it's fun it's good to write but no we're, we're we come alive on stage that's what we want to do we yeah. love it it's it's awesome it really is it's great to have Europe back here touring in America so keep an eye out because there's plenty more dates coming up and still more coming as I continue to hang with Joey Tempest of Europe during this hour of Metal Mania Joey, it's been great hanging with you. Thank you so much for coming by this hour. And as I said a few times before, it's great to have Europe back. I know I speak for all the fans that have been waiting a long time. It's great to see you guys out there on the road and doing so well. My pleasure. Thanks for coming by. Thanks. Europe fans, have you circled June 7th on your calendars? Because that's the day the band's first new album in nearly 14 years, Start From The Dark, finally arrives in stores. And those who've heard it said it's been well worth the wait. As I mentioned, Europe are currently touring right here in the U.S., so check out the website EuropeTheBand.com for information and updates. Now, Joey, I can't let you go without asking you about, you know, people know this band is the final countdown band, but actually, at least here in America, Carrie was actually a bigger hit for you, chart-wise. Uh, talk mm -hmm. a little bit about that song when you wrote it, because we've actually had people tell us here at VH1 Classic, some of our viewers, that they named their children <laughs> after the success of that song. That's got to feel pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I was younger. I had a breakup with a girl. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, it's a. It's a cool song. Now live, I play it. Most of the time, I play it with an acoustic guitar and vocal and it becomes very personal mm -hmm. and you can hear the song stripped down and it works really really well and it's just one of those songs you're right it was played maybe even more than final countdown it was a, it was a popular people took it to heart here in america yeah, yeah. people forget because they, they hear of europe and the, it's just that song is the final countdown is yeah. just so big and as i said to you before i think there's probably people out there that younger fans that don't even realize they hear that melody but they don't know it's a band called Europe yeah. that, that do it, yeah. that they hear it all the time. But Carrie was just such a huge hit for you, as was Rock the Night and a lot of stuff yeah. from that. And again, we should tell people that the uh, the classic lineup that recorded that album is is what Europe has going. That's right. Yeah. Tell everybody what they, ha what they have to look forward to as far as Europe is concerned. Uh, more touring, the record coming out in June. I heard maybe a DVD. Yeah, we're going to keep touring. So after this summer, we've been on the road for one and a half year. Then we're going to start writing again. But we have a DVD lined up with a lot of interview material because we never did a DVD really so this is an 
opportunity for us. We recorded in London, a Hammersmith Odeon, classic place. It's a good rock show, and it's also a lot of interview. We had a DVD team hanging with us for 48 hours in the tour bus and partying. And it was it was a good time. So it's a good DVD, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. So. Yeah, that's a good point because you guys were broken up during when the whole DVD <laughs> thing happened. So yeah, you missed so, that, that yeah, part yeah. of technology. You're so, just getting caught up. We had a lot of fun doing that. Okay, so yeah. fans can look forward to the album, the DVD, and more touring here in America. Yes, we'd love to come back. It's been rediscovering. We have rediscovered America, and we want to come back again. Yeah. You know? Well, that's great. Joey, thank you so much for being here. It's a Thanks. pleasure to meet you and uh, hanging with us today. During Metal Mania is Joey Tempest of Europe, and now more classic metal music videos.